Hey guys, welcome back to another Shadow Era commentary where we're still going to play the Amber Rain deck. Yep, we got it selected. <laughs> well, I played once before and I was uh, gold farming and I just started the game and I was using my gold farm deck. So let's just check our rating 266. I've played some uh, matches without recording. I uh, tested out some decks, I've lost some and I have won some so I'm still at the 266 rating right where we left off and we're playing this elementalist and I really hate this opponent because he's pumping up his creatures and they get really big and really strong so I have to take them out as quick as I can and uh, the creatures that he got pumped up I have to cripple them with our crippling blow so uh, they will not be able to attack anymore so just just get rid of the smashing blow. I don't think he plays a lot of weapons or armors. Let's just turn on our music. It's always the same music, but better some music than nothing. So I do think we have a hard matchup here. I really hate those decks, and I'm still um, saving some money to uh, to also build some deck, buy some booster packs, or just some uh, loose cards. So I can build a deck like it. Um, I think I'll just drop the armored sandwich and I'm going to play the Puin. So next turn, uh, with the Puin, if he doesn't destroy it, I get to play the Alden the Brave and destroy that Arkwright Karsh Karash. Because that's a, a simple creature 2 mana, 2 2, or 2 resources, 2 attack, 2 defense. But he doesn't take damage if he, if the damage is two or less combat damage. So it's it's a really a, a scary creature if he pumps it up. So it gets three five and it doesn't take damage from creatures with two or less damage. <laughs> so that's really pretty nice. And that card he just played, I don't understand it fully, but I think it just say if I damage it, it gets stronger because. Let's get power and toughness uh, to the difference between uh, the attack and the defense. Mm. So we're just going to drop out the Alden the Brave and we'll just take out the Iron Hide Courage. So if he pumps it up next turn, it's getting even bigger, I think. Because Bloodstained Marauder has X attack, where X is the number of the difference between its current and the maximum health. So let's just see what happens when he pumps it up. I really like this deck, this elemental deck. Not to play against because they are pretty strong. But yeah, if he pumps it up, I got a, a crippling blow for him. Um, that card he just played, I don't know what it does, but we'll get there soon, I think. Boom, four damage, wow. And he didn't even use his ability. <laughs> you see this? This is pretty scary. Turn 4, he got a, a creature with, but 5, 7. That's pretty scary. Yeah. Um, 5, 7. Well, we won't be able to take that out, so um, we are gonna check the Urgent Protector. I think, yes. We'll just have to crippling blow it, I think. Or disable it. Yeah, we're going to disable it. So we have next turn 5 mana for the uh, crippling blow and the blood frenzy. We're just gonna disable it for a turn. And attack. 2. Let's just see what this Sana Super Focus does. Well, Super Focus is attached to your hero and you only have one ally in play. Okay, it's getting very strong. Oh, it's immune for attachments. Oh, that sucks. So we have to remove it with our... Oh, I sacrificed that. <laughs> the server ties. I sacrificed it. Oh my god. This sucks. But if he drops another ally, it's not immune anymore, I think. What if... Oh, a plasma be a mod. Oh my god. Wow, this sucks. Well, we drew a server ties again. So we'll be able to destroy that guard, but 
weren't going to take a lot of damage from the behemoth or sacrificing our own allies. That's not nice. Um, what are we going to do here? Oh, this is so nasty. Um, let's just get rid of the Jasmine, I guess. She'll die anyhow. So let's just disable him. Play this one. Just don't know what to do, so we'll just do anything we can. And um, are we going to attack him? Nope. We are not going to attack him. I should have attacked him. Maybe. Um, bringing him down to five. Because if he dies, the attachment is going to work again. Um, Oh my god, this is hard. I'm making a lot of mistakes, I think, but this is pretty sick. A sick drop from him. And he's almost buffed out, so he only got, yeah, he got two cards left. So 24 life. He got two very strong allies. One is disabled at the moment, because if I uh, kill the uh, plasma beam one, there's another one. How can you survive this? This pressure, this kind of pressure. Almost impossible. Um, well, this is a nice draw, a very nice draw. Because now mm, I can use our ability. I'm going to take some damage. Three. Too bad. But hey. And we're going to take down a plasma beam mod. Wow, it turns out maybe I do have a chance. And we're gonna cast this to disable this one. And we can take it out next turn. Unless he pumps it up with uh, with his ability. So this ability is really good, the elementalist ability. Pump it up with one extra attack and, the de and some defense. But I still have the server dice, right? Yep. So I don't, I don't have to dash this badass again so I'm just gonna remove his uh, super armor thing his, his attachment I think so his allies won't get uh, extra defense and extra strong and they will not be unaffected by my attachments so he's, so he's drawn very good as well. He's just drawing a uh, card drawer just when he needs it. So that's really really nice. Let's just remove this super focus. And um, we'll just let our player in get some damage. So we won't suffer so much for ourselves. So those beer mods it's the top priority, always take them out as fast as you can. Because those things are pretty nasty. When they survive a turn, they're gonna blast down all your allies, dealing 4 damage, killing almost everything with one shot. Or they're gonna hit you for 7 each turn, and you don't want that to happen. <laughs> I already killed 2 of them now, this, this match. With Iron Knight cards, you see it, it's, it's already a scary creature. But I think he's not going to attack me because he will die next turn. Because he would receive 5 damage. Well, that's not nice. And maybe he's going to attack me now because my weapon only has one durability left. So let's just see what he's up to. I hope he attacks me, so I can take out his, uh, his garage next turn. Nope, he's not going for it. Well, I'm, I think I'm just going to wait, sit that one out. Um, because if I attack him, I'm taking 3 damage, and next time, if he attacks me, I'm taking another 3 damage. So that would be a lot of damage. Mm. And it 
think I just want to play the Jasmine. Uh, because it will survive an attack from him. So let's just skip this one. If I sacrifice a sworn, I can play them both. Um, if I play this one, I got two resources left. But I won't be act able to activate the ability to trigger this one for more. Uh, oh my god, this is hard. Well, we're just gonna skip it. So we attack him. Let's just play this one. And let's attack. And let's just attack him. Because if my Jasmine lives, it's it's going to be disabled. So this is shitty because I can't pump up my Jewelers Dream. Yep, as I predicted, this is a really tough match. We have to do everything we can and hoping on some good draws, keeping our fingers crossed. And yeah, we'll just see where they where we'll where we'll get. Because I don't want to lose this match. Because then I promise you guys I will switch this deck for a, another deck and just play that deck until I lose again. And that will be probably the first match when I play that with another deck. I will lose I think because I really like this Amber deck. And I really want to reach the 270 raid points. Let's see who is going to attack. He can attack me for free because his ally will not take damage. But I think he's going to take down the Jasmine. Or not. Because he's probably... He can kill it next turn, but maybe not. Because I can kill the guys next turn. Oh, let's just keep our screen light. He's always also thinking about what to do. Because it's pretty hard. We have to make pretty hard decisions. But it turned out really well for me. So I have nothing to complain. Uh, I'm going to use the ability that I have three resources left. Yes, I can play the arm. Sandworm again. Let's just disable this one. Let's just pump it up. Pump it up. Yeah. And let's just kill it. Bye bye. There he goes. Let's just hit him on his nose. For three. Splash. Taking him down to 16 and playing the sandworm. So we're up in advantage again. Well, I think the first time in the match now we're on advantage. On advantage. So we have him with his back against the wall, and he has to use his ability to draw some cards, but it will cost him a lot of resources because he has five resources left. And sacrificing this card, mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna be a good idea. But unless he's drawing crap, but what's one of the best cards he could draw? I think uh, mind control, but. That wouldn't even bother me at all. Yep, he's going to sacrifice. And he needs to drop some allies. Some good allies. And that's a very good one. My god. That's a nice card. To, to slay off my Jasmine. Yep, that sucks. He's gonna pump up that. I really need a crippling blow now. Come on, yep. <laughs> and we drew it. Let's just cast it and disable that big one. And that's nice. If you play four crippling blows, you just draw them against the elementalist. The deck is really hard, but you need to draw your crippling blows at the right time. Otherwise, you will not survive. Uh, shall I drop this one to disable it? And attack for more damage? Yep, we're just going to do that. Let's just disable it. And we're gonna deal some more damage next turn. Because he's already at low health, so next turn would be 7 damage. And then he's almost dead. And that's why I dropped it. Otherwise, I would have kept it. But he's at such low life, so. So I'm still drawing some cards. Drawing away the bad center. Okay. Give my 
except some really good card. The other card must must be really good. Okay, another garage. Wow, this is nice. This is nice. And we're just going to skip it. Cast the Alden. Puen. And let's just attack him. Eh? I'm not even gonna calculate how much damage I'm gonna do because I think it's enough to, to slay him uh, at least next turn. Why is my drag dropping not working? Wow, this is a real exciting match. The beginning was so bad, I was so desperate, I, I thought he was going to win, but nope, he's going to concede, he packed up his stuff and he left. So that's another victory for Amber Ray, as you can see here, at the beginning I was really behind, but I drew some good cards, another server ties and crippling blows when I needed them, that's so nice. But yeah, that's the reason why you have to play the 40 cards. I'm still not gaining any rating. I think he is a much lower rating than me or something like that. Or I lose too many matches so I need to win two to gain any rating. But yeah, maybe some of you know and can tell me. If you know uh, why I'm not gaining any rating because I won. Maybe if I refresh it but... Nope, still stuck on the 266. Maybe some of you know it and can tell me why but... So just keep playing the Amber Rain deck and keep watching, liking, commenting, subscribing and we'll see you in the next match. Cheers!